Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to talk about how to write the equation of a line which we're told goes through a particular point and has undefined slope. Let's take a look. The question says, use the point slope formula to write an equation of the line that passes through the point 1 half comma 2 fifths and has undefined slope. Write the answer in slope intercept form if possible. Well, I can tell you right away that it's not going to be possible to write this in slope-intercept form because for slope-intercept form, you have to have the slope, and our slope is undefined, which means that we can't write it as a number. So just ignore that part of the problem. Now, when you know that a line has undefined slope, what that means is it rises directly up. It's vertical. So anytime you see undefined slope, you know you're talking about a vertical line. Now, if you're like my students, the most confusing part about that is we know that horizontal and vertical lines are all of the form x equals a number or y equals a number, but which one is which? So what I encourage my students to do is to draw a picture of the situation to guide you into figuring out if you're going to have an x equals a number or a y equals a number. So I'm going to draw a graph and I'm going to plot the point 1 half 2 fifths. So I'm going on the x-axis to the value 1 half, and on the y-axis, 1 fifth, 2 fifths, 3 fifths, 4 fifths, 5 fifths. So this is going to be 2 fifths right here. There's my points. Now I know the slope is undefined, so I have a vertical line. So I'm going to draw in a vertical line. Now I'm going to think about what would the coordinates along that line look like, the other coordinates, besides the point 1 half, 2 fifths. Well, this point, for example, would be 1 half 4 fifths. This point would be 1 half 1. Uh, this point down here would be 1 half negative 2 fifths. This point right here would be 1 half 0. What do all of these points have in common? They all have an x value of 1 half. So what that tells you is that y can be anything, but x has to be defined to be 1 half. So x is always equal to 1 half, and that's exactly the equation of the line. So in general, when you have a vertical line, it's always going to be in the form of x equals some number a, and you just have to figure out what that x value is. So if they give you a pair of coordinates and they say, oh, this pair of coordinates is on a vertical line, you know the line has to be x equals whatever the x value is. In this case, x equals 1 half. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video.